guys welcome back to my new youtube video so for this week's video i am going to be customizing red air force ones with a louis vuitton look i've done this shoe before and if you guys do follow my instagram you would know but i've done it in a black or brown color but the reason why i'm making a video on this is because i ended up posting a tiktok and it blew up it got me 1.1 million views which i was really happy about because that was something completely new to me having all that attention on something that i love doing so much and for this video i am going to kind of be answering all of the questions that you guys had hopefully i get all of them covered if i don't feel free to comment in the comment section i'll be replying to all of you guys and this just shows you how i do the shoes and if you guys do want to buy i'll be explaining that in the outro and if you guys want to try this at home all you need is an airbrush leather paint depending on what color you want um paint thinner and louis vuitton stencils in which i get on etsy from any seller out there they're really all the same okay so to start off i'm going to be removing the laces only because you don't want to risk getting the paint on it it's really hard to remove i've learned my lesson a few times from when i began to custom my shoes and i realized washing it off is very difficult and does not come off easy so i remove it just to avoid that risk Okay, so now I'm gonna be adding the red tape. This tape is a lot different than like the regular painter's tape. It feels more rubbery, in which I like because it's a lot harder for the paint to leak through. So I like to surround that around the area that I'm gonna be airbrushing so I can decrease my chances of that happening. And after I'm gonna be adding the blue paint, the blue tape around everything else just so the spray doesn't get anywhere else. I highly recommend using an X-Acto knife when cutting around where you need because it's a lot easier. Because the paint does sometimes find its way through the tape. I don't know how, especially at the top part where it's a little more elevated. It does kind of leak through. So you want to make sure everything is pressed against each other really tightly. You guys have the choice of covering the bottom part of the shoe. If you want, I usually don't because I never have it facing sideways or anything when I'm painting. So the paint never gets there anyway. That way I can ship it to the buyers with it 100% clean. Also, say hi to my cat. He usually watches me when I'm working outside on my shoes and just sits there. He's really cute and his name is Simpson. Okay, now I'm applying the stencils. And if you're trying this at home, when you're applying the stencils, you want to make sure you apply it straight and everything is in line. You also want to make sure the spacing is the same on both shoes, but you can't really tell until you start applying them on the other shoe. And if that's the case, you might have to redo it, but it's okay. And when you're doing the Nike sign, it's fine if you have them scattered around. You don't really need to have it in the order because the Nike sign is kind of diagonal. So it's not easy to have everything be shown. As for doing it with the normal Louis Vuitton colors, I highly suggest painting the white part, light brown first, like a champagne color, and then placing the stencils over it and then airbrushing it with the brown, the darker brown. But when you do that, the stencils are a little sticky. So when you peel it, sometimes it will take the champagne color off of the shoe. So you might want to dab it a little bit on your fingertip and get the stickiness off of it before applying it.
Okay, so now I'm spraying the paint onto the shoe. From what you guys didn't see off camera, I had to mix the paint with the paint thinner that you guys can get from any craft store for five dollars. Because the paint is a little thick for it to be spraying through the airbrush smoothly, and you don't want it to accidentally dry like that. If it does, you're gonna have to buy a new head, and they are pretty expensive. So now I'm using the exacto knife and I'm removing all of the stencils of the shoe. Now that the paint has fully dried, I ended up doing two coats for the paint because I wanted it to be very pigmented. And when you're removing them, you want to be sure that you don't scratch where you have the red because the paint will peel off because it's not sealed yet. You do seal it at the end and make sure that it has that clear coat over it so nothing like water or dirt or anything can scratch it. Okay, so this is my favorite part of all, only because it's so satisfying removing the tape and seeing the paint and the shoe be the way I expected it to be. You just want to be careful when removing the tape because the paint is still really fragile considering that we used an airbrush and the paint is layered, it's very thin. And you just want to make sure you don't scratch it. And as soon as you finish, you just want to list it all up and then you're going to have your finished product. hope you guys liked this video if you guys have any other questions feel free to contact me i'm very open and i'm very active on all my accounts and hopefully i get to see you guys next week bye